Hi everybody, Don Balance here with another two minute tutorial. This one featuring New Tech TriCaster with Advanced Edition. Now, when we look at the TriCaster interface for live production, we're presented with a multi-viewer. And this multi-viewer, by its default, shows us the external inputs that are available and the internal media players and a preview and a program monitor. But you can adjust this multi-viewer by using the workspace menu pull-down. Now, inside of this pull-down, you'll see you've got multi-viewer 1 and 2. Multi-viewer 1 is the multi-viewer on the main user interface, and multi-viewer 2 is your secondary multi-viewer. So on this first multi-viewer, I have the ability to choose between four presets, and these presets change the monitor layouts. Now on the second preset, I only see the 12 externals. On C, I only see the internal media players and graphics players. And D is set up to show me all of my MEs at the same time. You know, a lot of times when people say you've got eight MEs, do they all have their own outputs? What they're really asking is, I want to be able to see them all during the production while it's happening. And you can do that very easily with this TriCaster multi-viewer. Now, when we go back to workspaces, you'll see that you have this load default area. And this allows you to load up these different monitor layouts into that specific preset. So I'm on D right now, so I'm going to go ahead and load up the scopes. For D, I now have waveform monitor vector scopes. I could come over here and bring up my color adjustments for this input and start making adjustments and see all of that stuff happening on the scopes in real time. Uh, I can also, I'm going to come down here and load up this ME follow, which gives me four nice big monitors. This is a way to get four big monitors. Now, once you've got the monitor layout, you can then right click on any monitor and select what you want it to be. Any input, any media player, mix effects bus, buffer. You've got a lot of ability to customize this work environment to specifically meet your production needs. And again, you can easily switch between the four presets that you set up just by using the workspace pull down. You could also make a macro and tie these to a button to get to the different workspaces. Now, if you do go in and you make changes to what's being displayed besides the default, that will get saved in the session. So if you exit and come back into the session, your customized multi-viewer will still be there. If you want to get back to the default multi-viewer, you just simply go back and load a default, and that will reload whatever the default inputs were set to. Now, this is all happening, as we said, on the multi-viewer inside of the user interface. We also have our secondary multi-viewer, and we can do the same sorts of things there. Uh, we can change the layout on that secondary multi-viewer to a number of different monitor layouts. Uh, if you take a look at the interface now, you'll see that you have a lot more of these monitor layout variables available to you in that secondary multi-viewer. So you can set up more different types of multi-viewers on the secondary one as opposed to the first. And uh, on that secondary multi-viewer, you also have the ability to adjust the display settings of resolution of the output and so forth. Um, so just a little bit more control over your workspaces and what's happening. I also want to let you know that the workspaces themselves are scalable. You can grab the uh, in between the two monitor areas and scale these monitors, and you can double click on those lines to get them back. You can do that same sort of thing here on the MEs, where you can scale down and scale up and then double click on that line to get back to where you want it to be. Well, I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you, and if you have suggestions for other topics you'd like covered, please put them in the comments below. And we'll see you again real soon with another two-minute tutorial.